Hey YouTube, welcome to another Blades to Be video. Not going to be in the shop for this one. This one is going to be a fusion flicker. What's a fusion flicker you're asking? Well, it's just a short fusion video as we're going to get in here and show you how I made this part. If you watch any of the Titan CNC videos, this one, I guess kind of similar to the chess piece, although I went ahead and did these flutes in a slightly different way. Thought I'd show you how I made this. Uh, what this part is, it's a small custom driver to uh, install the little thumb studs on the knives that I make. So I just need a hole in here. I put a little rubber piece of gasket material in there and that's what I use to put in those thumb studs since they don't actually have a screw head of any kind on them. Right now I'm just using a custom hex driver and I'm constantly having to pull in and out one of the little pieces of rubber to set the depth for kind of what I call step one and step two. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a couple of these on the lathe and wanted to draw them up to make sure I knew what I was making. So I'll be working on these in the shop tomorrow, but I thought I would run through here real quick and show you how I made it. So this is what we're gonna go through and make. Should be fairly quick process to do that. So let's get a new drawing started. And for some drawing hygiene, let me first save this and give it a name. All right, now that we have that named, first thing I want to do is create a new component. I only plan to do one component, but just good hygiene to always have those in there. And that way you keep all your sketches and everything in the right place. Also, I'm going to go ahead and turn my layout grid back on, turn my origin back on, get this set up on the front so we know where we're working. We're going to go in here and create a sketch. Now what we're going to do on here, in addition to sculpting that, is we're also going to revolve in order to create this part. And I found that was a, the easiest way to get the contours and everything on there that I wanted is sketch it out flat and then I'm going to pick half of that sketch, revolve it around, and that's how we're going to create the whole piece. So I already have some dimensions here that I'm going to work from. So I've got my sketch. I'm going to sketch that on the front plane. And first I just need a rectangle. We're just going to go from the center point rectangle, and I want it to be 0.550 by 1.5. So there's my initial starting piece that we'll sketch on. And I'm just going to quickly drop some points on here. I know that uh, I can use lines as well, but for some reason I still just like dropping some points on here and dimensioning from that. So I'm just going to drop my points roughly where I think they're going to need to go and then we'll go drop some dimensions in here and get this all taken care of okay so for the basic dimensions on this I'm looking at 310 is going to be the diameter of this first part we're going to go back half an inch then another quarter of an inch back to here where we're going to sculpt in that radius We've got one inch across this back part right here, and then I'm going to come back in about 150 thou, down 150 thou for this radius on the back. So let's go ahead and get that all dimensioned in there. Drop a couple more points back here, and we should be ready to drop this in and connect some lines. So D for dimension. All right, now we've got all the dimensions in there. Let's go ahead and connect some dots. So I just hit L for line, connected those. Now let's do the arc. I'm going to do a three-point arc. And I'm going to finish the sketch, and we are ready to revolve our part around here. So I need to go to Create, Revolve. I want to revolve this piece around this axis, and there we go. We now have our basic outline of our part here. Just want to add a quick fillet on there. I think about 60 looks good. 
and a quick fillet on the front. Just about 20 on there to break that. So there's our basic part. Now to put the flutes on that, we're gonna go ahead and set up an offset plane and we're gonna do our sketch out here off the back and then we're gonna cut all of our flutes. So let's set up our offset plane to start with. So I need to construct an offset plane and I want that to be off this surface. And then I wanna drag that back and make sure that that is just off the back enough to make it easy. I think technically it can be in the middle, it can be anywhere, but I just find it's easier for me to think about it by putting it off the back end. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now look at this from the right. I wanna keep that there to make sure I select the right surface. So I wanna create a sketch and I wanna make sure I select that offset plane. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna set up a center point rectangle again. And I want this to be 0.75 by 0.75. So there I've got a rectangle set up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a series of quarter inch circles around here. And then we're gonna set those up and then we're gonna be able to cut through and that's gonna make all of our flutes at one time. So I also wanna do a center point circle and match that up with our circle here. Let me dimension that and make sure that that is 0.550 to match up with our other piece. So we have that on there and I wanna drop a series of points right out here at my four corners. So there's four of my circles. And then I wanna drop four other points. Let me go ahead and dimension this first one. So that's going to be 0.375. And then I should be able to drop my other points and have them all match up with that one. All right, we can double check one of these, but they should all be the same 0.375 off from the center. D for dimension. And yes, you can see that they're all 0.375 since we went around and kept them all lined up with each other. So now I'm gonna add circles to all of those. Center point circle. So all quarter inch. C for circle. And there we go, we now have our eight circles around there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the sketch. And now I wanna select all of these flutes. Holding down Command, select all eight of these. And then I'm just gonna right click, press pull, kinda tip my drawing down where I can see what's happening and you're gonna see that we're just gonna cut all the way through there. Hit OK. And there we go, there we have just created that part. Now the only thing we need to do is put this hole in the end. And I'm just gonna hit the hole, center that up on the end, and I want this hole to be 0.155 deep. And 3 16 diameter. And a flat bottom hole. That should do it. Now, last thing I want to do is I'll just going to put a little bevel fillet on the edge of that. I think we're just going to go 10 thou. And there it is. There's the design of this driver that I'm going to go down and make in the shop tomorrow. So we got those grid lines back off and that should look like the other one that we had. So there's a quick, simple way to revolve a cylinder cut some fillets into something, give it a good design. Now there is another way, again, if you look at the Titans of CNC, they make their chest piece and they make one of the fillets. And then you can go up here and you can do a pattern and you can select that pattern and do eight of those across. So on my sketch, I could have just created one of those and then I could have selected the pattern and had it duplicate that eight times around the circumference. But I thought it was just as easy on that sketch to go ahead and make eight of those and knock those out on there.
So I hope you enjoyed that quick video on a little Fusion Flicker on how to do a couple of things in Fusion. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hey, I'd sure appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And you can check out when the next video comes out where we're going to head down to the lathe and we're going to make a couple of these out of aluminum. We'll set them up on the mill. We'll use a quarter inch end mill to cut those flutes on there with the index head. And it should be a fun little project. Hope you'll tune back in for that. Until then, I hope you're out in your own shop working on some projects of your own, making some chips of your own. I'll be here in the Blades to Be shop working on that next video. Till I get that one out, y'all take care.